In this video series, I want to provide you with an introduction to the world of programming using Python. But before we do that, let's start by answering the question, what is computer programming? Well, to put it simply, a computer program is a set of instructions to achieve a desired result or perform a specific task. Every computer program that you interact with every single day, even something as complex as a 3D game or a self-driving car, is comprised of a series of instructions, where each instruction tells the computer to perform something very small, but specific, all coming together to make up a complete computer program. Therefore, the true art of programming is your ability to take a larger idea and break it apart into smaller pieces. Consider for a moment how you give someone directions to a place they've never been before. You need to provide them with step-by-step -step guidance to ensure they arrive at their intended destination. Now, you may not always send them down the quickest route, but as long as they get from point A to point B, well, then you've accomplished the goal. This is the perfect analogy for writing computer programs. It's important for you to develop a logical and process-oriented mentality, breaking apart complex procedures into the basic steps. The reality is, when you first start programming, you're not going to be very efficient. You'll end up writing 10 lines of code when two lines of code can accomplish the same task. You'll inevitably find yourself lost in a sea of coding logic containing foreign syntax, baffling conditions, and mind-jogging loops. And yes, you will at some point get very, very frustrated. Instructions in programming languages are referred to as statements. And similar to sentences in English, statements use words, numbers, and punctuation to express a single thought, task, or line item. The unique set of words, numbers, and punctuations that you use to write your code statements in different programming languages are referred to as a language's syntax and will vary based on the programming language that you're actually using. Understanding the rules of a programming language is to understand that language's syntax. For example, let's take a look at the following code statements, all of which accomplish the same task in different languages. Create a variable named size and assign it a value of 60. Notice the unique similarities and differences in the syntax of each of these statements. Everything from the casing of the words, uppercase versus lowercase, the unique keywords that were used, set, let, move, dim, or no keyword, and the punctuation, semicolon versus no semicolon. These are all important aspects of a language's syntax. Similar to many spoken word languages, many programming languages also relate to one another. For example, languages such as Java, C++, and C Sharp are referred to as C family languages because they are all derived from or are an extension of the C programming language that first appeared in 1972. As such, C family languages have many syntactical similarities, such as terminating code statements with a semicolon. Now, if every programming language is just a set of instructions for computers, well, the natural question is, why isn't there just one universal language of computing? Well, you may be interested to learn that there is actually only one universal language that your computer understands. That is machine code. Machine code is the base level form of instructions that run directly at the processor level of your computer. That is the hardware level of your computer. More specifically, machine code is the smallest level of instructions working on the smallest units of memory in your computer. And it's not clearly understandable by humans. Visualize something like the matrix. Since we as humans cannot understand machine code, and let's be honest, we have little interest in trying to understand machine code, the goal of programming languages is to bridge the gap between humans and computers, and to do so at various levels. But what do I mean by various levels? Well, depending on the specific task you're trying to accomplish, computer programs can be written using high-level or low-level languages. High-level languages are written in a form that more closely resembles human language, so it's easier for the programmer to understand and work with. With high-level languages, programmers can focus more on the problem that they're trying to solve and less on the technical aspects regarding how the computer will interpret and process their code statements. High-level languages also emphasize the use of instructions and data objects to accomplish tasks. By contrast, to write code in low-level languages requires the programmer to think more like a computer because there's a closer correlation between the code statements they write and the computer's machine code instructions. Compared to high-level language programmers, a relatively smaller number of programmers routinely code using low-level languages. But low-level languages are still necessary for developing code for specialized hardware, such as the device drivers that allow your computer's hardware to work properly with your computer's operating system and application software. In our next video, I'll introduce you to the Python programming language, and we'll discuss why Python has quickly become the language of choice for many programmers and organizations. 
As always, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and click that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. 